All right, let's talk about the San Francisco 49ers. They're saying that they got the inside track to get Matthew Stafford, but Jerry Rice doesn't have too, you know, nothing really good to say about Matthew Stafford. Let's start off there. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. And, um, yeah, they got the inside track on Stafford, they say. Um, but Jerry Rice basically says that, you know, Matthew Stafford doesn't have an if factor that the 49ers should basically pursue Deshaun Watson. He has an if factor. He won a Ferrari. He also talked about Aaron Rodgers. We'll get there in a minute. And my thing is, he right. You know, Matthew Stafford don't got the ear factor. He said he ain't won a playoff game in 12 seasons, 13, whatever it's been. And, you know, personally, you know, you banking on Detroit, you know, not supporting him the right way. And you giving him everything you need and him winning. But some guys just can't get over the hump. You know, Peyton got over the hump because the NFL held Peyton. Other than that, Peyton was never a winner. He was a talented quarterback, but he wasn't a winner. Um, Tom was just, Tom Brady was just a winner. Aaron not a winner either. Sometimes the league helped these guys, and the, and that league wasn't gonna let Peyton Manning leave without winning a Super Bowl or two. So, I mean, with Matthew, maybe he's just not a winner. Every time we got in the winning time with the Lions, you know, when we played the Forty Nineers a couple years ago, you know, he just was uh, he just not a guy that's gonna win. He's not gonna win you a game. Hopefully, if he goes to San Francisco, you know. They'll be able to run the ball. Stafford being their play action that they get better windows. But I think Stafford get them more versatility than Jimmy Garoppolo. You able to spread them out five wide. And Stafford can, you know, operate and slice up a defense. But really, if you give him a run game and let him, you know, play off the run game, Stafford probably be dangerous, you know. And you got a good defense that's going to score points. So it might be a match made in heaven. But I agree with Jerry Rice. You don't want to go with a quick fix. If your roof master messed up, you don't want to just patch it up. If you got the money to fix it, go ahead and fix it. And Matthew Stafford would be a quick fix, even though he, what, 31, 32 years old? You get Deshaun, Deshaun Watson. I'm only concerned about Deshaun Watson, to be honest, is that he took a lot of hits over his career. And can he play an unreckless style of football? That's the million-dollar question. Can Deshaun Watson play, say, football? Can he slide? Can he get out? Or can he not take the extra hits? Can he get the ball out of his hand? That's the only really issue you got with Deshaun. But Jerry Wright, Stafford ain't won a playoff game. He ain't got the if factor. He don't have that rah rah. He wasn't a leader. They said in the locker room, he just don't have it, you know. And you know, Trent Dilfer maybe didn't have it. Brad Johnson didn't have it. And there's probably been other quarterbacks that make it in one Super Bowl. Kerry Collins definitely didn't have it. But you really banking on Kyle Shanahan basically doing what he did with Matt Ryan and winning the Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford. And I think that's what people waiting on. But as a Lions fan, I'm not really concerned what the 49ers think they can fix with Stafford. I'm really worried about. The compensation that we get and what we do with the compensation. But, you know, with Jerry Rice, that's his opinion. I agree with it. I think most people in Detroit agree with it. If they being non-biased about it and not having feelings about Stafford. Stafford don't have an it factor. He can't carry a team. He had one to play off team. He can't get you over the hump. And honestly, that's the God on the truth here. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. But he's not a winner. He didn't win in college. He's not going to lift you up. But with the 49ers, you don't have to. All you got to do is play efficient football. Run the ball with Jeff Wilson, Raheem Morstead, and get the ball out your hands. Kyle Shanahan's system is a very, very quarterback-friendly system. But don't forget, it's the same system that helped John Elway win two championships after losing three Super Bowls early in his career. So, I mean, you don't have to have an it factor to be a great quarterback. I mean, there's a lot of guys out here. Tebow had it, but he couldn't win a football game. At the National Football League, well, he won a playoff game, but he couldn't consistently win. So, and maybe, you know, getting Matthew Stafford is a patch. It's patchwork. Maybe it is just putting a patch over there. You expect Stafford playing in his 40s? People saying, well, not quarterbacks are playing through their 40. That's Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Phillip Rivers. You know, do you expect Aaron Rodgers and Stafford to play into their 40s? I really don't, to be honest. You know, in the NFL, it is softer. You don't have to take the abuse that you once had to take in the league. Joe Theismann and Joe Montana getting knocked out of game. Steve Young getting concussed. You don't have to worry about that no more. You only get the quarterback in the targeted area. You know, you can't touch the head. You can't grab the face mask. You can't slap people in the helmet like Deacon Jones used to do back in the day off firing off the line. So football is, is kind of versed towards, you know, quarterbacks playing a little bit longer than they used to. But the question is, if you ain't got a rocket arm coming to the league, your arm around average or slightly above average or below average, you ain't going to play long no way unless, you know, even if you learn to throw the ball like Chad Pennington, learn to throw the ball with his legs. And, and, you know, you're not going to last long in the league. That's one thing you got to have arms. Drew Brees leaving for Drew Brees don't have the arm no more. You come in there with, with Flacco or 
Stafford type of arm at Cam, you'll have an opportunity to play longer. But to be honest, them, them could be anomalies with Drew Brees and Phillip Rivers and, and Tom Brady did. But, I mean, that is what it is. Jerry Rice played a long time, you know. But Jerry Rice probably took care of his body and he still stay in shape. Well, you know, with Jerry Rice, I think there's valid things. You go out there and get Watson, but the question is, if you get Watson, are you going to pay three number ones? Are you going to mortgage your future? Because that's a lot of draft picks. Because if you got guys that's coming up that's on rookie deals, you know, and you need to resign them or you need to replace them with younger guys in the first round, you can't. And to give up three number one draft picks, I mean, you mortgage in your future, even though the 49ers expect to be at the bottom of the draft, but them still draft picks, this ain't the NBA. You got talent top to bottom in the National Football League. So you don't want to just give up first round picks if you're 28, 30, 27, 7. It's great players everywhere. Aaron Rodgers went 20 something. You know, Drew Brees went in the second round. You know, Russell Wilson, what, fourth, Dak, fourth. So there's great players in every round. So it's hard to give up. But then again, you get Deshaun Watson already under contract. You know, if you add him to that running game in San Francisco, you know, they might they might be, you know, challenging Patrick Mahomes as far as being perennial conference champion and Super Bowl contender. So that's hard to pass up to give up three number ones. But then you ask yourself, if I got guys coming up in contract, can I trade them and get back into the draft? So, I mean, if I had a guy like Nick Bosa coming up and I didn't want to pay him, can I trade him to, you know, Oakland or, I mean, to Las Vegas and get a first-round draft pick? So, that's you got to ask yourself at the end with another situation with with, Staff, with Stafford going over there. You know, are are they going to open up California? Do you want to get taxed that much money? Because you playing in, in Arizona, you're going to lose a lot of money. I mean, in California, you're going to lose a lot of money. I'm pretty sure them players that switched to Arizona last year, they played there. Taxes, tax break was probably better. California is astronomically high. But Jerry Rice also said, you know, also said Aaron Rodgers didn't want to be here. No, Aaron Rodgers is mad because San Francisco passed up on him and they took uh, Alex Smith. He still ain't got over that. And that's why he wouldn't want to play in San Francisco. And at the end of the day, Aaron, to, hold a, to hold a grudge like that, if it's anything but motivation to me, that just sounds like he got a man a, a, a vagina. No, what better way is to come back home and win the Super Bowl in San Francisco? Because they passed you up. Okay, it is what it is. They made a mistake. They took Alex Smith. Go there and do what Alex Smith can do. If Aaron Rodgers wanted to leave Green Bay, but he just he just seemed like he just have a lot of feminine and tendencies, dude. He act like a bitch, and I can see that's why he can't keep no woman around with Danica Patrick. So he just come off to me. Aaron Rodgers come up to me as, as, a, as a woman. Just how he talk. How, you know, not even his arrogance. Because when you that good, come with arrogance. Just, just how he be. Remember he threw a, um, Greg Jones. Just the way he operate. He operate like a, like a woman, dude. And that's just my opinion on it, man. But, you know, don't be interested in the staff. The question is, you know, what's the compensation? Because you trade them in conference. I mean... What can they give? Can they give you more in New Orleans? Can they give you more in L.A.? And you ask them, like, why they don't go out there and get Sam Darnold? <laughs> why they don't interested in Deshaun Watson? Maybe the question, the price too high, but I don't have no issue with trading Stafford to the San Francisco 49ers. I think he can win there. You know, I think they can get over the hump. You know, and then the disrespect to Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> you know, people act like Jimmy Garoppolo still ain't the quarterback, and then do you bring Garoppolo back as part of that, a part of that trade, or do you let them release him and then get Jimmy Garoppolo? That's the question, but personally, I don't have no issue with it. But I don't know how staff are going to take Jerry Rice's comments and not want him there. But, you know, just prove wrong coming there and win. But, you know, personally, I'd rather have Watson than Rodgers than him. But, obviously, Watson, I mean, Rodgers may or may not be available. But, I mean, it's quite true. Stafford don't have an factor. He's not a leader. He don't have that energy. He's not going to be a leader. I mean, he's not going to be rah-rah. And that's true, and a lot of people, they don't want to believe it. You know, they want Stafford to come here, give his all, and continue to lose-lose. But him going to his friend, let's see if he can win the Super Bowl. Anything less than the Super Bowl is a failure for any team that he go to. Not name the Jets. If he go to San Francisco, L.A., they don't get to the Super Bowl, and he the primary reason why he get injured, shit. You know, people just think it's the Lions. Maybe Stafford not that fucking good to begin with. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, choir response, or video request. All my social media links in the description, fast ways, Twitter, and Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget to check my other channel out for more sports, music, news, entertainment, good for sports TV. Let me know what you guys think about the video, but on uh, the comment section. But if you want to make a donation, 
Cash App CJ Good 313. Text in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Appreciate the love support one time for the one time we gone.